So today me and my mum are going off to London and we're going to see Take That and Ollie Mers tonight so that will be fun. I'll bring you along with us so hope you enjoy it. This life is proud to introduce the game. Download now and your life will change forever. Share progress with your friends. Help those precious moments just fly away. With this life, the game, available now. Because this life is yours. Yeah. 
stand on earth Put my head's on my arms Just daydreaming To find your heart To wait too long All of the pain You should know this song. This is a 90s classic. Please welcome Mike right, Stevens on the saxophone. And our band on the left hand side slowly coming forward. We said goodbye. Let's have a recap here. So we've said hello to the band, we've said hello to the stage. Uh, now what's left? Ah, uh, oh, the audience, the audience! Come on, let's go and say hello to the audience. Oh, here we go. One row, VIP, look at this. RIP in some cases. <laughs> Once again to This Life TV. As usual, we're filmed in front of a live and extremely lively studio audience. Yeah. Now, the story tonight is based on true events and the people mentioned are all real. So please sit back and enjoy. And all that's really left for me to say is, well, let's get on with the music. Look at him. That's Gary Barlow, that is. From Take That. Eight Brit Awards. Six Ivan Novello Awards. Songwriter of the Year, twice. He loves his piano. He could sit behind that piano all day if he could. That's where it all kind of started for him. Well, not a piano, more a keyboard, but quoting the big man himself, music is his life. We're going to take you on a bit of a take that journey, London. Are you up for that? Well, it all kind of started with this song, written by Gary when he was barely out of a pram, on the fourth release from Take That's first ever album. This is... A million love songs. Here I am trying to tell you that I can a million love songs later. The 90s was definitely the place to be. From the fabulous Hacienda nightclub to all the amazing fans that were coming out of the city at the time. Now there was a guy in Manchester though who wanted to make his own band. 
Not like the normal Manchester fans, the Happy Mondays or the Smiths. Oh no, this was going to be something completely different. Take That was going to be an all singing, all dancing extravaganza. So, me, Mark Howard, Robbie and Jason, we packed our microphones and leather jackets and we set off to conquer the world. Clubs, play to anyone and everyone who would give us a stage. Now getting our stamps in our passports from across Europe and Asia, Australia and America, stretching our wings. And then, in the summer of 1993, this happened. Ladies, straight in at number one, the highest new entry is Take That. Before I Has it really been 10 years? <laughs> I'm afraid it has, mate. Uh, hey, should we call Mark? Yeah, yeah, good idea. Oh my God, hi guys! Hey, Mark, how are you doing? Babe, I'm good. Hey guys, listen up, I've got an idea. Should we get the band back together? <laughs> Just have a little patience. Jason and Robbie landed in New York City, checked into Electric Lady Studio, began writing and recording brand new music. Standing on the edge of forever, at the start of forever, shouting love at the world. For the full experience of this life vision, apply your glasses now. Oh no! <laughs>
okay to meet me at the front line. I've got cold feet.